Hi, this is Steve Lacerra. Today, we're going to replace the memory capacitor in an Empirical Labs distressor. The distressor has a memory circuit that retains your switch settings when you turn it off or unplug it. When you turn the unit back on, it's supposed to return to the same settings. As these units get older, the capacitors used to power this memory circuit lose their ability to hold a charge, and the settings aren't stored. As you can see in this distressor that was made around 1998, the unit always powers up to a default state. It doesn't retain the settings when it's turned off, so we'll need to change that capacitor. Start by removing 13 screws from the top panel. You'll see the memory capacitor in the center of the circuit board. It's a polarized electrolytic capacitor and has to be replaced with the same polarity, so we'll mark the minus side with a piece of tape. You'll need to remove five screws from the front panel, one of which is hidden underneath the input knob. Remove the input knob using a 332nd hex wrench, and you'll be able to access that screw. Also, remove the two screws on the front panel near the left rack ear, and two more near the right rack ear. The main PCB is held in place using five screws. There's one in each corner and one in the center. Remove all five of those screws, plus remove the screw that holds the ground lug in place. Now you can access the solder side of the PCB. Set the unit upright on its rear panel, and gently lower the PCB onto your work surface. Desolder the two points that hold the memory capacitor in place. Then flip the circuit board up and remove the capacitor. We'll use an exact replacement, an Elna Dynacap 0.047F at 5.5 volts DC. Check the polarity of the cap, making sure that the minus on the capacitor lines up with the minus on your circuit board. Flip the PCB over, and then solder the new capacitor in place. When you're done soldering, replace the screws that hold the PCB in place, and also the screw that holds the ground lug in place. Remove the tape from the circuit board before you reassemble everything. Now, when the units are powered down, they'll retain the switch settings. If we alter the settings on the front panels of both of these distressors and then shut them off, they'll come back to the same switch settings. Here's the top one. And now the bottom one. And they're good to go.